All right, so I have this paddocks done and look how nice it looks. Get the wires down, okay? I was supposed to move them into this paddocks three days ago, which is fine. Uh, I, I think they're not hurting it over there. But on my last video, I did this right through here, but I ran back to the barn. I made a couple more because I just thought, why not go up to the top of the hill? So that's what we're gonna do before this sunset it gets too dark and I can't see nothing. I have the rest of this section done. I think it looks pretty good. It's not the straightest because you can see that one T-post leaned in. So I had to make it do a little whoopty. I think it's fine. But now I just have to get some of this tension and uh, get this slack out. So I'm going to just cut these and retie them and then I think it'll be fine. I already did this one and it's really tight now. All right, so those are now tight. Let's go move these sheep and the cows over. I did throw out a lot of grass seed out through here, like uh, 15 pounds in this one field. I don't know if it has came up. With having the goats uh, over here munching on everything that's coming up, I don't know. I probably just wasted it. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing that, uh, but I'm definitely going to add something to this field to make it a lot better because, you know, why not try to improve as you go? Now, the only thing I'm gonna move over here today is their water. I'm not gonna move that hay tote because they're not eating it anyways. To be honest with you, that was kind of a mistake. I shouldn't have added hay. They were done with it, but I thought, mm, they'll keep snacking on it, but they didn't. Uh, he definitely, and they definitely are enjoying the new grass. You can definitely tell the goats are left out. They're coming over here, breaking through that wire. Yep, let's just break through that fence. Oy. But that looks uh, like it needs to be bush hogged. When it dries up, I'm going to hit this field and that field with the bush hog and see how that works. Yeah, they're probably going to break through the fence I just put up. Let me just tell you, goats are not my friend. I'm going to go on and put some water in that tote so I don't forget. Now I'm just going to go on and hook this up. Perfect. Now, fill this old dude up. While I'm waiting on the water to fill up and try not to forget it, I'm going to clean up this mess that I got up here. Take that to the burn pit or the burn barrel and try to clean up a little bit before it's a little too dark because it's definitely getting dark without a flash on. Well, I definitely forgot to turn the water off, but it's not that bad. At least they have some water. I mean, it's raining, so at least the grass is wet, but oh well. They have water, they're in the new paddocks. 14 days from now, I move them to the next one. So rotational grazing, 14 days is where you wanna be at. I went a little above, but we were on vacation, so it doesn't matter. Plus, I only have five animals in there. Now, if the sheep, there they are, if they would stay in there, I would probably have to be a little bit more strict on the 14 days right now. Anywho, that's all we can get done today. It is dark. Uh, we're gonna try to work on the camper maybe tomorrow. Um, and see, I don't think I'm gonna do the next paddocks. I'm running out of uh, poly wire. I probably have enough to do the next paddocks. I don't know yet. Uh, I might just worry about getting something done on the camper. Would probably be a good idea. And uh, we'll go from there. 